Well, hey, YouTube, it's PD, and I'm going to do a virtual tour. <laughs> Here's some pictures I took. So there's these monitor speakers. Uh, there's four speakers in the picture. The top two uh, speakers are clones of Minimus 7, which is a famous Radio Shack speaker. Um, you're supposed to mod them. I opened mine up, and they had huge coils for the crossover and then some chintzy, resist, uh, chintzy capacitor. So I'm not sure if that's what... I guess they all look the same in there. Anyway, um, those I'm using for air, uh, maybe, and there's a sub. So the sub and those Radio Shack speakers are going to be on another amp. And then those, the uh, Event PS6, Project Studio 6 sub, uh, excuse me, powered monitors are actual studio monitors. So those are my a speakers my b speakers or if i want that sub you know i can i can play with it and i can even kind of pretty much eliminate a lot of the high end and just have run the sub it depends on how i set it up because it's kind of a complicated system and i'll explain that uh, this is not the right way of doing it it's all kind of rigged together pd style so these here are uh, ART tube MP preamps. They're crap preamps. Uh, it's embarrassing. I would be better of taking some fecal matter and some boogies and shoobies and uh, asshole hair and rolling that up and sending my signal through that. But uh, at the time, I had no idea if it was any good. It was 20 bucks, and I bought it. And then began the search for another one where Guitar Center U sold me one that they swore up and down it was good and wouldn't let me test it. I got it home and it was fucking blown. So I put a bad tube in it and took it back and kept... The tube that was in there was nice. Somebody had replaced it uh, and found out that actually something was wrong with the board. So it was their loss. I got my money back. Fuck Guitar Center. Don't ever buy anything from Guitar Center used. So uh, this is bullshit. There's no mixing board. This is Petey's way of making music. So go fuck yourself. Everything goes through this crappy, what brand is that? Pioneer. Could you go see what brand is on that EQ over there? It's a really crappy circa 80s. And I've got much nicer, much more professional studio looking EQs. That silver EQ that's over there. What is the brand name on it? I just, uh, I specifically use that on purpose. So this is the Echo Box. It's the Moore Ocean Machine. It's got two echoes and a reverb. You can see I added the Triverb, uh, tri which is the best 50, sub $50 pedal. I did a trade. I traded two fuzzes that I got from making demo videos, and I got three pedals. I got a Gate, I got the Triverb, and I got something else that I don't remember. What the hell else did I get? Oh, a uh, 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 TU2. Anyway, um, I only use the triverb, which is really massive, and really it's a great long reverb on a couple of songs at the end. But I did use the tap tempo. This is the air switch for the Moore Ocean Machine. And this thing lets you change modes. It lets you shut off the looper, because oftentimes it, it just starts looping shit. Um, I love the, the Moore Ocean Machine, but they could have done a better job on some of the rough edges. And you really have to buy the air switch to access the tap tempo uh, easily. But that was how I recorded everything was tap tempo. And uh, I used a expression pedal to control the depth. So here's the new X uh, MG300. I just got this. I ran all the acoustic guitars through it and used an acoustic guitar impulse response to simulate the wood of the body of the guitar. The Roland EV5, that's the expression pedal going back to the stupid Moore Ocean Machine. And this controls the overall effect level of all the delays in the reverb. So I could just kind of set it up, tap tempo it, and then bring that level into where I want it, which was low. It was always on like 15 or 20 out of 100. Uh, there's the main PC, got it at Goodwill for 10 bucks. put a couple of hard drives in it. It runs, it's like a Dell Core Duo with, I think it has 16 gigs of RAM or 8 gigs. Here's all the cables running across in front of the doorway. I got to tidy those up, and that's a blurry-ass picture. The camera I'm using is an old Kodak that I bought for 2 bucks at Goodwill that I just fell in love with it. 
So here's behind the main, uh, one of the main stations. There's really kind of like three stations here. You can see an EQ pedal. There's a bunch of cords wound up. Uh, the, the white box there, that's highlighting the interface. So there's a cable running, that silver cable runs over to that other Dell computer. That's a Firewire cable. And uh, here is the Roland VG8 that sits kind of right next to me. And that's the virtual guitar. I did all the 12-string sounds and a lot of the spacey guitar sounds. Uh, here's the Roland VG88. I don't know. There's two of them, the 8 and the 88. I used the older one exclusively. I did not use that one. But I got it. <laughs> here's the GR1. This is the guitar synthesizer. This was responsible for all the flute sounds and all the vibes. And some other stuff. There, It makes this chow creepy noise called the deep here is this little wood block thing that sits on top of the one computer next to where i sit and that's a support for the mouse the piece of sheet metal that the mouse sits on so there you can see underneath there that subwoofer that's what i did today i woke up and remember remembered this 10 inch sub because that box is just holding stuff up and the hole was for the cat to go in there and i'm like i could turn that cat house into a subwoofer so here's where we plug the outlets in. Uh, if I'm going to run the guitar synth or the Nux, I pop the adapter in there. Uh, here's my fancy keyboard that I got that has uh, hot keys on it and a scroll scrub wheel, which really, really helps speed the process up. A uh, little clip lamp, and then this, my, my, that's my thumbprint on there. I sprayed some flat black on this today. This is a piece I ran out this morning to get scrap wood, and I found these pieces of wood that I barely needed to cut, and they made that support. So here's the part of the rack on the bottom. We have the, uh, the interface, then there's a headphone amp in blue. The orange thing is the subwoofer amp, then the J JVC, the home stereo, that powers the top uh, minimus speakers. Here's the EQ for the subwoofer. So the, the JVC is powering those top speakers and that red jack there, that's a sub out. And it's not powered so you need to provide your own amp. So I ran it first through an EQ and boosted it because it was weak signal coming out of there. And then that's the amp. That's the input, the power, and the output. So I made that speaker cable today out of lamp cord, the one on the right. And that amp is an old PC switch box that I put a, a Class D amplifier in from eBay. A $5 uh, 100 watt. Or no, that was a $20 one. Here's that EQ, Arian EQ. I got that in 92. And I still have it when I bought this uh, unbelievably nice bass for 300 bucks. Okay, so yeah, there's the EQ on the left. I just replaced that EQ module. The first one was humming. Here's that subwoofer. Okay, that was the cat house. Used to run in through that hole. Now I stuffed a subwoofer in there. And you can see there's carpet that fell over. That's supposed to be blocking some of the sound. But there's a keyboard stand holding some of this shit up. There's the Alesis Micro Q amp. That's a really powerful loud headphone amp. I just opened that up and sprayed deoxid in the pots because it was crackling. And the front, you can see that amp. That's a TPA 31162 Mono. Sure, sure, sure Electronics makes that orange. No, I painted the orange. I put it in there. It's got an LED and a switch. There's that fucking EQ again. I'm sorry there's so many doubles in here. Um, I'm really proud that I still have that pedal. I never had the battery cover for it. Uh, yeah, so you can see there's a speaker holding everything up. It's a really good German speaker. I got two of those. It's serving as a stand for the M-Audio Firewire 410 interface. Um, here's the back cable mess. We just cleaned all this up. It was way worse. So that red plug goes into the EQ, comes out, uh, and, and, and that red plug is coming out of this JVC. That I've got a remote for it, and you crank up the volume knob, and it powers those Minimus clones, and also the sub. So mainly I'm mixing out of these suckers, but if I want that sub bass experience, I can blend it in. And also, those Optimus speakers are really trebly, kind of. They're kind of. So I can get some air and some really low. I can get that smiley Q curve going on if I turn the JVC on. Otherwise, I'm running through my project by amp, 
event uh, PS6 monitors that I just got those. There's that fancy keyboard. You can see it's got a scroll wheel on it and some hotkeys. So if I'm playing and I screw up, I hit one button, it deletes it, rewinds it, and then I hit another button and start recording again. Here's an upside down picture of the VG8. I use a lot of 12 string sounds on that. Some rubber band sounds, some space sounds, and some fluty, uh, some horns. Anytime you hear some weird thing that might be a guitar, that's this Roland VG8. It's not the guitar synth. The guitar synth only did flutes and vibes. Now, uh, there's the MIDI keyboard. We paid 10 bucks for that. My old one broke right before this project, and we went out to look for one and found that for 10 bucks. Uh, here's the uh, other synth that I use. There's a power module where you turn everything on, and then that monitor, that HP monitor, you can get both computers on there. Uh, but that purple synth, that's a rack mount synth, uh, pre, uh, uh, Kurzweil, I think, it's a great synth, and I used it. Now this is a close-up, you can see that's a chrome woofer, and here's a, a gray woofer. Um, I, I popped that chrome one in there because there's a mod for these speakers where you put dope on the paper to make it more brittle. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try that. I've got a pair of those chrome speakers. They're junky, but they're rated a little higher. And I'll, I'll see, you know, what is it? Does it make a difference? Okay, here's this gooseneck lamp. I've really had a hard time with this. LEDs want to see AC. You can run them off a of DC, but then you need an LED driver. So if you've got an LED and you're having a problem with it, here's the base. Try running a AC power supply and thank me later. So I fell in love with that lamp. It was like 10 bucks, and I spent a lot of time monkeying with it. I had to replace all the electronics. Here's the back end shot. You can see I've got to clean it up. It's kind of messy, but you can see how that one rack mount unit is a power conditioner for everything to plug in. And I'm running off of a few different breakers so I don't blow a fuse because the initial way that I wired this, it fucking blew a breaker. So there's my little buddy, Kita. I had that sub set up over by where Kita's sitting. I think there's some pictures of the old sub. Here's his Kita's little house house, and now he can't get in there. <laughs> Poor guy. I can move it to the side. I can do that. There's a few holes in that thing. So here's a picture of the old sub. And this is over by the couch. This is over by where Kita was. I, I, I had it over, all the way over here. I ran this cable over here. And, and you know, they say lows are non-directional. So I'm standing next to that sub, and you can see where I would sit by that blue keyboard. It's like seven feet away, and it was just bothering me. So now the new sub is, you can see, it's right below where I'm sitting. And it's also not firing at the ground. This sub that I'm uh, kind of showing here, there's Kita. What a cute cat. Isn't he cute? That other sub points right at the ground. So that means my neighbor's hearing it more, I think, than putting it up on that chair in the cat house. So there's that JVC. I paid $2.99 for that thing. It's only 22 watts, but man, it's a nice unit. The, 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 uh, there's that fucking Ariane EQ again. I'm so proud of that. I've had it for so long and never broke this plastic pedal. And it's a good EQ. It's a base EQ. So yeah, there's the, uh, red output for the sub. And then below that is some heavy gauge speaker wire running up to those Optimus 7 clones. They're called Hawk, but there's a TAC ripoff of it. Here's another picture of the switch box that I painted orange. Pop the switch in a 10 millimeter LED and I put that screw in there to make it look like, uh, uh, cause there was a hole there. That's one of the, I just picked that up recently before the project and said, I'll use that to plug the adapters into. And I have been, it sits on top of the computer and then there's that arch support that holds up the floppy piece of sheet metal that is my mouse pad. And that sheet metal came off of an old autogram IC10 mixing board from a radio station in Rockford. See how that Rockford keeps coming into play. So yeah, that's kind of where I said I would face that other monitor and the lamp, face the uh, white computer when I would record guitar. And when I did keyboard, I would be facing the opposite way, facing this monitor here, which before I had some bookshelf speakers in place of those project studios. And I was thinking about giving them away. I kind of owe somebody a pair of speakers, but I'm not. They're, they're, I looked really hard for them and I had to special order it off of eBay and pay another like 
uh, 20 bucks. So I am, I'm going to keep them. And I have a bass speaker. I have a bass 10. So if this, uh, this is a subwoofer for a car, it looks like I have a performance 10. If that ends up being too thumpy, I can uh, just as soon put the uh, the Huji, the bass uh, guitar 10 inch speaker in there and call it a day. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully I'll use this camera more and do more of these types of videos because I enjoy this type of content. So uh, please comment. I'm sorry I uh, bowled through it so fast, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. And I got to go shopping with my beautiful wife. I love you, Gunty. And today is international... Uh, smack the shit out of your demon day or actually it's 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 be nice to your little flat name Kita Bobitis yeah baby okay you guys hug your pets